and let's talk about the spanning key protocol and uh, it is also represented as 802.1d so if somebody is talking about like in their rfc request for comments these are the basically the purpose and inside that they are not basically typing this spanning key protocol or something like they have mentioned like 802.1d so this is how this is a standard and you have to keep this in mind as well this is interview question as well as uh, uh, it will also can appear in your exams as well so what is spanning key protocol uh, just it's a method in a switch switching environment to avoid the loop so if i give you example of this like we have these multiple switches and they are interconnected with one this uh, crossover cable okay so at this stage we cannot have a uh, uh, loop because the packet will go here there 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 and that's it but what if this switch or this cable is down means now what happened uh, if some computer is connected here and some computer is connected here and uh, if this cable is damaged or down uh, the whole network is down basically so what is the remedy or what is the solution you are going to place another cable between these switches so let's say if one of the cable, I'm not talking about this orange cable, let's say the green one is down, but we still have the connectivity because we want redundancy in our networking environment. Everywhere, everywhere we are looking for redundancy because we want 24 by seven, the device is up and running. So the redundancy is good, but, uh, but bring uh, a lot of issues like I'm mentioning here. So let's say uh, we have multiple links, let's say until here, I'll not go there. And, uh, and spanning tree STP, this is a protocol that is, let's say disabled. It is not working in these switches, but it is by default, by the way. Uh, it is helping us uh, avoiding the loops by default. Let's, but let's suppose, assume that STP is not running. What will happen? The packet will go from here, will go here, here, and then it will return back. Then it will go here, here, and then it will come and go and on and on and on. It will just loop around and around. So the looping uh, cause so many degradation in our network network environment. Our computers uh, will uh, like even they will not operate. If you want to send information from this computer to another computer here somewhere here, uh, you cannot send the information because this is called broadcast storm. This is also one of the attack broadcast from the evil, the attacker will disable the STP. That's it. And uh, your packet will just loop, loop around and around. So to mitigate this uh, issue, we have this spanning key protocol. What it will do? it will block some of the ports temporary it will not shut down these ports but let's say these ports are blocked means you cannot send information using these ports uh, these cable so the information is only tra tra traversing uh, using these cable these this cable this cable and this cable but these since these uh, cables are blocked if the information come here it will not loop around it will just go back uh, using the same cable
So if I can give you this uh, animation, like uh, we have three switches, PC1 wants to send information to the PC2 and the PC3 as well. It will send the broadcast, one broadcast will go to the PC2 and one will send to the uh, PC3. But you can see the link is blocking state, no frames are forwarded via this interface. So this one is in a blocking state. So uh, if this is not blocked, the possibility could this frame could go through this and then again will come and loop around. So this is the reason we use spanning key protocol. It is used to loop a while in the switches. It used the protocol known as BPTU. And we will discuss a lot in detail when we'll hit CCNA. Uh, we will be talking about just uh, switching and BPDUs, uh, root bridges, these things, okay? So it will elect uh, this as a root. Uh, one of the switch will elect as a root bridge. Like it is the king of in this LAN environment. So whatever the information PC3 want to send, it will not go through this one, but it will go through this thing. So with the help of BPDUs, it is going not only going to uh, avoid the loops, but uh, will do the root bridge election. Of course, one of the switch has to be the king. So with the help of BPDU, uh, they are going to elect this. Uh, for example, this or could this or this, there are some mechanism behind that. And we are going to uh, discuss that a lot in uh, CCNA. So we can have root selection as well. Then after uh, electing the root bridge, these ports could have kind of the labels. Like this will be like a designated port. So if this is the root bridge elected, what will be the status of these ports here? These will be designated ports. And these are, let's say the slave switches. If it, and they are heading toward what root bridge and these ports will be in a root port. RP. So basically these ports are saying I am heading toward root, root switch. And then I said one of uh, this link will be in a blocking state. So this is where it will come. Maybe this or maybe this, this one will be a block and one of them will be a root port. So in case of a failure, let's say this link is down and we know that this uh, link is in a blocking state, but immediately it will link will be up and then it will be in a forwarding state. So this PC wants to send information to PC1, the PC3 want to send information to PC1 before it was going to be this one. But now since this link is down and now this blocking uh, state has come into the forwarding state. Now it will go like this. Then we have some uh, uh, the flavors of spanning P protocol, which are common spanning P protocol, MST, multiple spanning P protocol, RSTP. And one is from the Cisco that is known as the PBSP plus. And when we will hit the concept of spanning tree a lot in detail, I will show you uh, the difference between CST, PBSP, and MST and RSTP. Okay, then we have this CST, PBSP slow. Uh, what I'm saying has common spanning tree and PBSP, they are slow. So, so the engineers, they came up with a solution with the RSTP, which is much, much faster than uh, these uh, legacy uh, spanning key protocols.
So just you have to remember uh, which one is the fastest. RSTP is the fastest. So at this stage, just remember this thing. No need to worry about the detail, which we are going to cover in a CCNF. 